I always say this is the work to prepare for the run. Do you promise running will become easier for me after this? <laughs> I so promise. Yeah, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Elena Chung, and today we're talking about strength training for runners. So I'm joined by my friend and coach, Aaliyah Irvin here, and she's going to guide us through a warm-up, a strength series, and a cool down. Hi everybody, my name is Elena Chung. This is my friend Aaliyah Irvin and she'll be guiding us through a strength training for a runner's class. You won't need any props or equipment, it's body weight only, so let's get started. All right, let's jump into our warm up. Warming up is really important because we don't wanna jump into it with coat muscles. So we want to uh, have our body ready for the movement that we're gonna do. And it also helps prevent injuries. We're gonna do each warm up exercise for about 30 seconds. Okay. And we're gonna start with some breathing, okay? So we're gonna inhale through our nose, exhale out through our mouth. Keep breathing, inhale through our nose. Exhale through our mouth. We're doing this because when we run, sometimes we get overwhelmed and start panting. And so this helps us kind of recover. They should be slow breaths. So when you feel like you are like, I can't catch my breath kind of thing, this is the perfect time to use this tool. Perfect. So now that we have our breathing down pack, let's move on to our arms. Yeah. Just give me some running arms. Swing them back and forth. So the thing that we want to think about is we don't want to over cross our arms because that makes us do too much work. Okay. So we want to kind of st stay straight in front of our body. And then we don't want to overreach. We don't want to reach too far back. We want to kind of stay in our hip pocket. Yes. Good. And then sometimes when we get tired, our arms creep up. So we want to think about pulling them down. And then with our hands, yeah. we kind of want to have them relaxed, okay. right? Okay. Yeah. I was doing robot hands. Maybe like you're having some chips in your hands and you don't want to crush them. Oh, no. <laughs> oh God. Exactly. Me and my That's Doritos. perfect. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to put some of those things together. Our breathing, our arms with an ace skip. So our A skip is gonna look like this, up and down. Let me see your skip. Good. So the reason we're doing A skips is because we wanna start warming up our hip flexor area because we use our hip flexors a little bit or a lot while we run. <laughs> Got it, I love it. So this kind of gets our body warmed up and ready for action. Good, still using those hand principles, keeping them back in our hip pockets. Perfect, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. I'm getting tired on <laughs> This is good, this is gonna be good. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna move on to our B skip. Cool. So our B skip looks like this. It's just adding the A and then kicking out. Okay. Yes. I can do this. Okay. Coordination. <laughs> yes. Okay. So lift the knee oh. and kick out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that is part of running. Okay. It's that, it's that. So think about, uh, yes. Kick. Because when we run, left arm, right leg, yes. I'm forgetting the kick part. <laughs> so I'm like, a so the kick air. part is important because when we get to stride out, that is what we're working on. Okay. Don't so do we it like to this. Lift no. our knees and then, <laughs> and then reach out. Yeah. Going, this is going really well. Three, two, one. Perfect. I love it. I love it. It's a working progress. It sure Anytime is. Anytime you add one movement on top of yeah. another movement uh -huh. with cross the body, it's good for the brain. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on to our butt kicks. Okay. So when you think of butt kicks, people just like to do this. Yeah. We actually want to bring our knees up just a tad bit. Oh. Good. Like yes. That. Yes, just like that. But when we run, we actually want to lift our knees just a little bit. So you can actually lower them. Oh, thank oh, God. God. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, so it's in between uh -huh. high knees. <laughs> because high knees is just bringing the foot right out. Yes. I'm tired. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Catch your breath. I'm going to show you the next move. So this just helps us get prepared for running. So ready. Yes. Okay, so side shuffle. Uh -huh. You ready? Oh, yeah. We're just going side to side, hinging at the hips, 
side to side. All right, yeah. let's see what you got. Good. So the reason we're doing this is because we want to get a little lateral motion in our warm up. And this is important because even though we run straight, we might see a hole or something like that. And we need to step off to the side really quick. So we want to make sure those inner thighs are ready for action. My inner thighs are ready for action. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Perfect. How do you feel? Great. Do you um, feel nice and warm? I, I feel very nice and warm. Are you out of breath? Yeah. Good. <laughs> That's the purpose of a warm up. Excellent. Okay, so now we're gonna do two prep moves in order to get ready for our strength. So the first thing we're gonna do is a mobility squat. So we're just squatting down and kind of moving side to side. Yes. And so while we're down here, we kind of want to press into our inner thighs mm -hmm. to get them nice and loose. And then we're warming up our ankles because runners use our ankles a lot. And this will help if you think about it while you're running, if you step off a curb, um, it'll help your ankles be nice and mobile. Mm -hmm. And even if you have a block, you can sit down onto that block. Or if you're here in the center, that's okay. If you're up high, that's okay too. Perfect. So then now we're gonna do some hurdle opens. And these are my favorite. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay. So we're gonna take a stance here and then we're just going to bring our knee up and then roll back. And I can use the wall? Perfect, cool. yes. This helps uh, hold our balance a little more. And then if you want to, you can always like do a, a mobility check or a stability check mm. to see if, <laughs> yes. Good, because when we run, we are always working on our stability. And here, this move here opens up our hips as well. Um, and it kind of helps uh, reduce any low back pain that we might have. Good, let's do one more. Perfect, and then switch sides. So this works on our balance. It works on opening our hips. It works on that low back. Good, and even if you want it to, you could use that arm a little bit to as if you were running. So knee is up, yep, and then pull it back. <laughs> there you go. It. It's a little coordination game. <laughs> yes. Would you say this is something that you want to like go slowly through instead of like kind of like rushing yes. and throwing your leg back? Absolutely. This is more of a, a prep. So you want to take slow control movements. Okay, so you ready to jump into some strength. Let's do it. Yes. Yeah. All right. So our first move is going to be our reverse lunge. So you're just going to take a step back, drop the knee to the floor and pop back up. Cool. Let me see what you got. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Good. So here we want to make sure that we're thinking about where our knees are. So we want to keep them in line with our toe. Um, sometimes they might go a little over the knee and that's okay. Um, but if you are starting to feel pain in that knee, you want to kind of press back. So her chest is leaning forward, which is perfect for runner's form. Awesome. And switch over to the other side. So the other thing that is good here is to make sure that you're using your arms as if you were running um, because we're building strength in our lower body, but also our upper body. Awesome. How do you feel? This is hard work. Good. It feels good though. <laughs> so sense. let's do two more. Good. Awesome. All right, so I'll let you have a little breather and I'll demo the next move, which we're just building on it. So we went backwards, now we have to go forward. Perfect. So we're gonna come down and then press out in front of us. Cool. Good. All right, let's go, let's yes. go, let's do this. So we're gonna drop that knee back to the floor and then we're gonna step out forward and press back. Good. How does this feel? Hard. Oh my gosh, it's my standing leg actually. Yeah, so most people think this is the leg that's working the most, but this is the leg that is making us stable. And so we wanna have this leg build power because when we push off our back foot when we're running, it helps us propel forward. 
Good. So when you press here, I want you to press off the floor to bounce back. Good. And if you need to, you can always take that step in the middle when our legs get tired or if you just need a little more stability for balance. It's more important to do it right instead of trying to do the big thing. That is okay. correct. Cool. <laughs> Good, let's switch over to the other side. Okay, yes. awesome. <laughs> Good. So now we are working the leg that was holding us for stability. So it might be a little shaky and that's okay. As you build strength, this will get easier, but you will also see that when you're running, your runs will feel so much easier. So I always say this is the work to prepare for the run. Do you promise running will become easier for me after this? I promise. <laughs> I so promise. Yeah, heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Love it. Good. Yeah, so let's do two more. Still working on those arms, practicing our breathing. Good. I good. Nice job, Leslie. Oh, no, 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 I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, nice coach. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to add onto that strength a little bit more stability. So we're going to do a single leg deadlift. And so we can either slide that foot back and do a little tap up and then come forward, mm -hmm. or we can just go right into it and lift. Cool. Here. Love it. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Okay, let's do this. And so if we're going down to the floor, we can always bring the floor closer to us by adding books or block. But the key is to reach down towards the floor and then back up. Cool. And you might think, why am I dragging my leg across the floor? It just helps build that um, awareness of where your body is going. And so it will help build that stability that you need to just kind of push that leg back and then lift up. Here. Tap the floor and then lift it up. And when you lift up, I want you to think about pulling belly button in. Good. And then when you come up and look out, pick a focal spot. Mm. It'll help your balance. Perfect. And then we can still use our balance cues, pulling that belly button into the spine. Good, let's do one more on the side. And then we're gonna switch over to the other. Oh, my hammies are tight. I feel like it's hard to touch the floor. Yeah, so anytime it feels hard to touch the floor, think about um, hinging at that hip a little more or bringing the floor closer up towards you. Got it. Good. And then with our balancing, how does your balance feel? It's a little bit easier on my right side. Then yes. it's on my left side. I can feel my ankle wobbling a little bit, but the core cue you gave me is helpful. Awesome. And so the other thing that we can do is use our eyes as well, mm -hmm. finding a focal spot in the room. Do you ever use that with running, like a focal point? I mean, obviously you're moving through space. Yeah. Does that help? But when you're running, you always are supposed to be looking out and a little down to the ground in front of you. One, because you want to see what's on the ground. And two, that is kind of where you're moving towards. Cool. Yeah. Good, so let me see one more. Okay. <laughs> I know, I know. How are you feeling? Oh my goodness, my hamstrings, my butt. Yes. Feels and great. we use all those things when we run. Yeah. So now that we've worked our lower body, are you ready to work our upper body? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go down into a plank row. Here we can come into our modification with our knees down and then we're gonna lift elbow and elbow or we can come up tall into a plank and lift and lift. Beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna have our shoulders stacked over top of our wrist and then we're gonna pull up Pull the elbow up, yes. And so we're gonna spread our feet just a little bit so we can keep that core nice and stable. Yes, and then we're pulling the elbows right up to my hand, good. Yeah, so we're using our arm strength so we can have nice, good runner arms into the hip pockets. Perfect, keep that core nice and tight. How are we feeling? Oh my gosh, my core's on fire. Yes, that's a good thing. <laughs> you wanna have nice and strong arms 
but also a nice strong core. So when we're running, we're not running out into the side, but straight and forward. Good. How does this feel? I have to use that breathing technique you taught me. There you go. <laughs> All right, we got one more each side. Good. Perfect, bring it down. How was that? That was hard, really fun though. So are you ready for some more fun? Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm so sure. <laughs> awesome. Let's do it. Okay, so if you have downstairs neighbors, apologize. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do a long jump. Okay. We're gonna push back into the hips, jump out, and then we're gonna walk back. Nice, flat <laughs> back right into the hips using the balls of our feet. Awesome. And then what if landing is hard on my knees? Yes, that's a great question. So it's more about the explosive movement versus how far we're getting out. So you squat down, baby jump. <laughs> Cute, I love it. Let's do it. All right, so arms back. Yep, sink back, arms back, and think about pushing the arms forward as you jump. Good. So now what I want you to think yes. about the next time is landing more into your heels. Oh, Yes, so ball of the feet and then sink back into the heels. Awesome. That's challenging. Good, yeah, so we're working on our quads, really exploding into the glutes because this creates us power. So as we run faster, we have that explosion activity. The walk back is no joke either. Yes, so the walk back really hits those glutes because we want to have strong buns while we're out there running. Strong buns! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so good, the arms really help you get forward. Think about looking out to where you're going. Yes, and we're landing softly. Okay. Good, see, as you continue to go, your, your landing is getting softer and softer. Good. Awesome! That's it, last one. Okay, how do you feel? Tired, but it was a lot of fun. Good, well now that you're tired, we're gonna go right into some jogging. Oh, good. How does that okay. sound? It, you know, it sounds great. I'm here All for right. the ride. So <laughs> running, running arms. Yes. We're gonna practice our breathing from the beginning. Inhale through the nose, out through the mouth. Good, we're trying to calm that breath down and using our running arms into the hip pockets. So how are you feeling? Good, I feel like a lot warmer than when we first started. Well, that helps with the running principles as well, hitting that strength and then feeling how your body feels afterwards is a keynote to take away. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. All right, so are you ready to cool down? Yes. <laughs> Perfect. So cooling down is equally as important as warming up. So let's grab your blanket and get right into it. All right. Let's do it. So, so we're gonna start? we're gonna start in a <laughs> A kneeling a, a hip flexor stretch. Good, so we wanna take this knee right over top of the ankle and press forward into the hip flexor. How does that feel? Nice. Good. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so you wanna think about our hip. We don't wanna have it pushed underneath or pressed out, just real neutral. neutral. Yes, good. So stretching into that hip flexor, if you wanna like, kind of touch where your hip flexors is. Yes, is that where you feel the stretch? That is where I feel the stretch. Thank you for asking. <laughs> yes, because all of our bodies are built different. So sometimes we feel it a little in a different place and that means something else could be a little tighter. Totally. All right, so from here, we're gonna flow right into a hamstring stretch. So we're gonna press our hips back and then peel, uh, put that heel down. Yes, and so here we can even have a block if we need it to bring our uh, ground closer to our hands. Um, but where do you feel this stretch? In my hamstrings, a little bit in my calf also. Yes, so, and that's a good thing because we want to stretch into that hamstring and the calf because we use both of them when we run. Awesome, and we want to keep breathing through our stretches. Good, and we're going to come back up to neutral. We're going to put both knees together. Good, and I want you to stretch your hands up above the head like you're reaching 
for something high in the sky. You can clasp the hands together, take a nice big deep breath in. And then as you exhale out, I want you to cactus the arms down to the side. Good, lifting the chest. I love cactus nice. arms, these are my favorite. <laughs> Sometimes we are all are rolled over forward, so just opening that up. And then we're gonna clasp the hands behind. Good, do another chest stretch. And then release it. We're gonna bring the opposite leg forward. Good, into that hip flexor. And how does that feel? So good, my right side's always tighter than my left, so I feel like I feel it here. And that's something to note as well. Mm -hmm because sometimes we want to spin a little longer in the side that's tighter and maybe even do a few more repetitions in that side because then that helps loosen it up and make it a little more even. Cool. Yeah. Love it. Awesome. Okay, so you can press those hips back down into that half split. How does that feel? Good. And bringing the uh, ground closer to you helps um, if you really have tight hamstrings. Yes, practicing our breathing. That is really good for this stretch as well. You can always play around with the foot a little bit if you want to do a foot tap. Yes, and that gets down into that calf a little more. Good. All right, let's come down to a seated position. No fancy way to get there. We're just gonna sit down on our bum. Love it. We're gonna have one leg out in front of us and we're gonna cross the other one over top and then pull that leg in or twist. And where do you feel that? I feel it in my outer hip. Awesome, and uh, stretching our glutes is really important, especially after all the leg work that we did today. Also, you may feel this in your lower back if you have a tight lower back. I love this one. I feel like this one's like one of my favorites. Yes. <laughs> it's also good for digestion. Oh, fun fact. <laughs> yes. We're about to have lunch, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's switch over to the other side. Good. And how does this side feel in relation to the other? This side is not as tight as my okay. right side. Good. Mm -hmm. And that's something to note uh, as you move from side to side, what side feels tighter. And you can always hold the side that's a little tighter, a little longer. Love it. Um, as we continue to run, we're shortening everything, especially during strength training. And so we would just want to add some mobility back in and that uh, extends our health to our muscles and kind of mitigates uh, injuries. Okay, so we're gonna come out forward fold. You can uh, stretch your legs right out in front. Good, and we're gonna reach down to our toes. So Elena has our knees bent here, which is awesome um, because if you have very tight hamstrings, it can be difficult to get down to our toes. So we wanna make sure that we just keep a flat back and we don't round over too much, yes. Good. And if you have the mobility and flexibility, you can feel free to come down over top of the legs. You just wanna make sure that you keep a nice neutral spine. Okay, so now I want you to uh, flex your toes towards your knees. And how does that feel? Good, it's like a nice stretch in my calves. Yes. Yeah. And then I want you to point your toes. And then where do you feel that? I feel that uh, like a nice stretch in my shins. Yes, and a shin splint is a very top uh, injury within runners. So doing this is a perfect way to help mitigate some injuries. And then we can, yes, uh, <laughs> pull the toes back and press them out. All right, take a deep breath in, exhale, and that's it. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You're welcome, how did you feel? Good, it kicked my butt. Good. In all the right ways. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, high five. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. And Aaliyah, thank you so much for sharing your wisdom, your expertise, and for kicking my butt. <laughs> if you got your butt kicked, then go ahead and hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. Runners, let me know how you're feeling in the comments, and we'll see you again real soon.